good morning good morning guys good morning it's time for another adventure just woke up and there's no electricity by the way it's 4 30 and i just i'm just so annoyed because i set my alarm so that i wake up early and do everything and <sighs> yeah so this light is like that um i don't know what they're called they keep the the power for some time after like electricity is gone and I've got another light there just to see what I'm doing. I'm packing, doing a day trip today. We're going to Antelope Park. I'm so excited. Let's go. We're in town now, looking for like a cloth to clean the windscreen so that when I'm recording, it's nice and clean and clear for you guys. <laughs> Uh, everything is almost nice and clean. It's not like clean, 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 but it's okay. It's time for us to go. Let's chat a little bit about the budget we have for the place and watch up until the end because I will be revealing how much we ended up spending. Our budget was 150 US dollars. You can reduce the cost by going as a group and splitting the cost of things like fuel and food, things like that. Entering Gweri now. Oh my god, it's so so beautiful. Look at those red flowers on the trees. Just gorgeous. I love love them. The other way of reducing the cost is sharing your automobile with uh, hitchhikers. People that are already going to Gweru or the particular town that you're going to, it saves a little bit of money. <music> right now trying to look for lunch and then off to antelope park got some yogurt okay this is some blueberries i realized that fresh produce in query is so fresh like it's fresh fresh fresh
God, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I can't believe I was with MSU for four years and I didn't um, come to Antelope Park. We are now at Antelope Park. Just got here, saw the place and the coffee shop and stuff. We're waiting to go to to do the elephant interaction. I'm so excited. <laughs> Guys, in love is an elephant in the valley and I discovered just now that I don't know what it's called in Shona, Kalanga and other languages in Zimbabwe which is so crazy. If you're like me and you don't know how to speak African languages there's an online school that I will leave in the description box below that teaches Ndebele, Shona, Kalanga and many many other languages that they're going to add. When you enroll to African Languages Online School you get access to a therapist or a student counsellor and at the end of your course you also get a certificate to brag to your friends that you know a language. So go check them out. It's my first time being really close to an elephant so yeah, I'm nervous and excited at the same time. The elephant interaction costs $30 but they do have specials from time to time so you can check their website out oh my word this was epic it was the best thing i've ever done in my entire existence i couldn't believe my eyes i couldn't believe their little hairs on the trunk like the oh they're so beautiful these elephants are african elephants that were rescued from the drought in the 1990s <laughs> Their names are Amai, Dombi, Jecha, and Chibi. The male one was kept a little bit further away because he gets a little bit aggressive when they take out pellets. So that is why you cannot see him there. But oh my god, look at how big they are. And I was told that the flapping of the ears is irritation. So, oh girl, I was scared. <laughs> This is Antelope Park. Whee! Guys, it's so beautiful here. Just want to cross over and see the other side and take pictures on the bridge, that bridge there. They go eat lunch. They prepare to go. What is this name of the name of the weed? Tell you what. Bush what? It's a winter whatever. I don't remember, but this is the weed that affects the dam. Um, it just comes, it just takes over. But like I was saying, they have a solution for it. Every rainy season, it gets washed off to the riverbank, and um, they can take it out and feed animals. Oh my God, there's fish in here. Hmm. Huh. Oh, he just disappeared. He was saying that there is uh, no crocodiles or hippos in here. But I don't trust it. So how, how do you know? How do you know? I'm scared of crocodiles. Like, no ways. <laughs> you want to please don't be polite cause i like your attitude let's forget about a curfew cause all that is stuck in my head it's me and you both speed in my heart is racing but i'm not sure i want to pace it cause it only does this with you antelope park has some volunteering experiences that you can come and um do here and i feel like this is one of the best places to be volunteering in because it's like out of town and it's breathtaking it's beautiful only here for a day visit and i kind of regret because this seems like one of the best places you could do camping the camping is only ten dollars you come with your equipment and you can sleep at this beautiful place. Speed in my heart is pacing, but I'm not sure I wanna pace it, cause it only does this with you. 
heart is me, I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension Let's just let our bodies be true We make out a thrill of it Mess around for the thrill of it Don't stop now, never let this end Hey guys, good afternoon. How are you guys doing? It's the day... It's a day after the Antelope Park trip and I just want to give you like a review of how the trip went so that you guys don't have to make the mistakes I made. Did elephant interaction which cost $30. There were other activities that I was interested in but then because of time and obviously the budget that we had set for the place. Here is a breakdown of the budget with the transport, food and entrance fees to uh, Antelope Park and we also have a budget for activities. I had planned to do a lot more but because of time I couldn't. Our total comes to 158 US dollars. This is what we ended up spending for two people. Transport was $68 including toll gates and food cancels out because you can claim your entry fees at the coffee shop as a lunch. We ended up having chicken, burgers and chips and a fizzy drink. Activities, we only did elephant interaction and brings our total to 118 US dollars. So you see, we saved some money. The elephant interaction was so, so good. It, as we approached the elephants, I could see how big they are and I was mind blown. I was mind blown. I just, I just remember thinking, oh my God, this is just, this is going to be the best time of my life. So we did the elephant interaction. It was like 20 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. I asked the guide who drove me to the, the site where the elephants would be, where the interaction happens. I asked him if he can take videos of me with my camera, switching with my phone. And well, he was like, oh, no problem. I'm gonna do it. And mind you, I had asked at the reception before I even paid, if it's allowed to take pictures and videos while you're doing what the interaction and they said no cool it's okay you give the guide and um, yeah that's what I did so I did get pictures I did get uh, videos the videos are good the one that was using the camera was very very good he's the one who drove us to the site and then not the one that was handling elephants um, asking for a tip. He, he took my phone from the other one to take pictures and uh, videos and when he gave me my phone back I obviously had a look at the pictures they're, they're okay they're good and he was like oh yeah so this is the end of the interaction he came really close like hovering was like so this is the part where you if you have something uh, for the guides to share amongst us. There were five guide, guides at the site of uh, elephant interaction, which I found very, very awkward. Like, why would someone ask for a tip? Why? Why would someone ask for a tip? I believe that a tip is something you give someone for exceptional service or it has to come from the person who's giving not the other one asking for a tip i have given people tips before but never have i been asked to give a token of appreciation i already paid for the interaction and yeah that's just unfortunately that experience just left a sour sour taste in my mouth about the whole place and I didn't even want to do other activities. Imagine if I was doing five activities and tipping the different uh, guides at the sites. How much would that be? Or maybe they're used to people who travel in their reach. They've got all this. I, I, honestly, I was very, very disappointed. I don't think I don't think it's okay I don't know maybe you guys can let me know if I was wrong I didn't respond I okay I responded and say I'll, I'll look for something if I find anything I'll leave it for you yeah 
that's how I responded let me know what do you think about the whole situation do you think um, organizations should write on their policy that tipping is um, compulsory or this guy was wrong or I was wrong for not tipping I don't know you let me know because it's not a Zimbabwean thing to tip even in South Africa like we ate at a lot of restaurants and I, I didn't even see my South African friends tipping and I asked them oh is it a thing here they said oh yeah you can do it if you want or if the food was good or if I like get a connection with someone and you know you kind of want to but for someone to ask <laughs> ah, no immediately for me it's an immediately no situation because I I'm the kind of person who researches about a place and I will lay down, I will have a budget for the place and I will I'll know how much I'm gonna spend. I will have extra, but not extra for tipping. It can happen because I have tipped people before, like sending sending something for them at the organization long, long after I have left. You get it? So mm, that was my experience, but don't take my word for it. It's a beautiful place and I think it can work for you if you are traveling as a group and you are doing activities all together. That way you can switch taking pictures and you know, like shooting content. You don't have to tip someone or you don't have to pay whatever um, extra. And I, I believe that um, if they do, offer extra guiding services they should specify so that when you're budgeting you know that they offer extra guiding services for you and um, if you are a group it's it works out better because you can shoot content like rotate while the other one does the interaction you're shooting and rotate so we couldn't do that because they didn't allow those that didn't pay to go to the site with that one i do understand because i mean animals there are risky business that little hiccup just, just put me off i was gonna go back for camping and like yeah we have a tent we, go, we were gonna go back for camping but you know the place just left a sour taste in our mouth because i mean why would you do that i don't know but don't take my word for it go and explore it for yourself hopefully you will get uh, a better experience i just wanted to share uh, my experience and i love 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 traveling when people don't really know who you are because obviously this was an activity that i wanted to share with you guys so that when you come to zimbabwe or when you want to go for like maybe a day trip or uh, overnight thing you can go and stay there and enjoy yourself for me not to get good content there was there was no specification that i need to pay extra for the guide or like the tipping and stuff i i just i just found it off and weird very very weird anyway i don't know you guys let me know you guys let me know if you would go back if you were me or if you think that the tipping i'm just blowing things out of proportion i don't even rate the place i'm sure there are other videos here on youtube that have had a better experience my experience was okay but it wasn't exceptional so right now i'm starting a new vlog um i want to encourage you guys to to subscribe <laughs> subscribe to my channel oh my a lot of you are watching and you're here not yet subscribed i can tell because of my youtube analytics about 60 percent of you are watching and you're not subscribed guys why Mara? please go and subscribe ne? so i will close this vlog right here say thank you so much i'll see you guys on my next video bye